If you ask people to draw water, it would be blue, right? Water isn't blue, it's reflection. But that's the way we were all taught to draw water when we were little kids and how we want to think of it. The memory of water it was really an aesthetic experience for us. We're thinking about what's great about water and, and it's blue and it flows and it's free and all that kind of stuff. There's about 40 layers of paint. It was not an easy painting to make because we wanted it to flow and look like water moving. I guess this is the secret of the painting, is that if you look at it, you see all this water springing up. Well, you can't paint that. So it was painted upside down. And the things that are springing up are really drips. We slowly are evolving what we're knowing, our intimacy with water in a way. You see things in it. And if you look at memory of water, you can see this white figure in it. Some people see an angel, some people see maybe a fish. It's very amorphous. But that is something about water you can't really see in it unless it's super clear. It's very like the subconscious. As, as an artist, I think sometimes those kind of impossible tasks are really worthy of your involvement because what you do is you discover through that. You'll never be able to do it. I mean, we're not talking about memory of water being a, a literal depiction of water. I mean, it's not a picture of water. It's, it doesn't exist in, in anywhere other than in that painting. It's really an, an aesthetic experience of dealing with of something that's everywhere. I mean, every generation wants to go back to the way it was when they were children. When young people like you grow up, you'll be having your memory of water people will say, well, how do we get back to that? And the thing is to see the beauty of our life now, and there's wonderful miracles here.